Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Pop Regix, where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. We have lots of gameplay to get into, some big announcements, updates on games that we've covered before. So let's get into today's episode. Let's kick things off with a little opportunity for you to get involved in some gameplay. We have Cantina Royale. If you haven't checked it out before, Cantina Royale is a tactical arcade shooter, top down, featuring diverse game modes and easy to use blockchain benefits. So we're going to give away 10 spots for you to be able to play this in a clean competition i'll pop that down in the link below just about completing some social actions and you'll get entries to be able to do that so the 10 guaranteed access spots with us in the 11 week open beta program 5825 players earn 827 crt token from from playing this game um so there's going to be opportunities to earn tokens which you'll be able to use and obviously trade on the blockchain looks really fun very easy and intuitive You've got a variety of different weapons we see here. Assault rifle, more long range, favoring them. We have shotguns, abilities to vault over things, dodge. So it looks like a lot of fun. If you want to get involved in that, then that is how. Next up after that, we have Synergy of Sarah. So finally a big announcement. After I, I covered this project a year ago. That's how long it's taken for these to be ready. But I, I was really attracted to the artwork. The, the artwork on it was like top notch. So it was going to take a while to complete all these cards that they have for the game, as well as creating a structure around those card types. So trait deployment must be initialized. On the 6th of November, we are going to be able to open the Transcendent Crates. If you haven't seen this game before, there are two sets of crates that people were able to purchase and they were over I think like there was about 400,000 of these available. So a, a huge amount of these NFTs have been sold. And um, they started at like $2, $1 for the basic crate and increased the more that were bought. I hope this is how when we open the crates, I hope this is what it's, it's going to have a similar kind of style of uh the video when you're open it just add that extra layer of quality to it the synergy of sarah the 6th of november you'll be able to open your crates you'll be able to go to the website which you can see i'm logged in base crate unlocking is at 48 percent at the moment so we're going to be waiting for that after that we've got the kicking game currency cholesterol marketplace closed alpha launch closed beta launch and open beta launch if you want to get your hand on some of these transcendent credits you can go to OpenSea and pick some up there are 34 available here for five dollars 80 which isn't too bad considering where they were and when they were the last sold so tier 10s were sold for 11 dollars each there's 20,000 of those that saw it. Really impressive to sell this many. You know, what they've done here is they hit the market at a good time, but also they sold them at an affordable price. Like these crates were, were actually really affordable to buy, not like 1,500 for one crate. Um, so it means there's going to be lots of supply. It means there's going to be probably going to have more players playing this game, which is what it's all about when the game like this. So as you see, it's somewhere in the middle around Tis around tier five that you'd be buying them at, so a fairly good price. And I I have a couple that I will be opening. So if we go check my inventory, my alpha fame, you see I've got a hundred base set crates and fifty transcendent set crates that I'll be able to open. Currently they are accruing alpha fame for me. Um so alpha fame is something that you've just been getting for free for over like the past year, and with them you get uh, Alpha Fame every day. You also obviously ranking against other people. 13,296 people at the moment claiming Alpha Fame. I'm guessing we're going to be able to use it to, to buy st stuff later, like some perks, like, I don't know, maybe uh, certain card styles, designs, just aesthetic stuff, not, not necessarily things that give you an edge in the game. Um, so we're looking forward to opening those and there is going to be some rare items in there. So um, I believe that artifacts, I think there's only 12 of them out of all those crates. So they're going to be, they're going to be high value things to have. We've got rarity and scarcity. Um, oh, sorry, rarity and quality. So we have gold being the rarest. 
Um, or is painted metal the rarest? Yeah, I think gold is the rarest. And then we've got legendary, the rarest. So if you get gold legendary, that's going to be 0.01% chance of getting one of those cards. So that's going to be the best by far. Um, yeah, so as these open, we get distribution percentages, which is pretty cool. So well worth, well worth getting him into this, I think. Uh, just for a cheap price, you can just pick one up for a, for six dollars basically, and then you you've got something to be able to play in the game when it goes live. Um, yeah, card designs just look sweet. Um, I'm hope, hoping it's intuitive and not too complex when it comes to the gameplay. But that's synergy of Sarah. Next up, we have Monkey League, a Web3 esports game. They uh, have released their breeding feature. And I asked if I could show the breeding feature off. <laughs> That's not it. Um, and because you need some breeding capsules. And I believe they're only available to certain people in the Discord at the moment. Um, so I just wanted to show you exactly what we can expect from breeding when it goes live. So you can pick one of you guys. I'm going to pick the two goalkeepers. That makes sense. And it's free to breed, so it's not going to cost you um, MBS on your first breed. So we have these are two pretty good um, monkeys. Breed success. Oh, that was quick. If you're an explorer. Okay, so processing our new breed. First parent. Second parent. Listen. And Lily. So now that breeding is in progress. And I'll be able to get a monkey. This does mean that the supply of monkeys is going to be increased. So this may affect prices in a negative way. Um, they may start to lose value as we start to breed out better types as well. Now, just my opinion on any breeding system. If you're going to have a breeding system in the game, bring it out whilst the game is available. It's the best time to do it. When you look at games like Crabada, Crabada had probably one of the best releases that I've ever seen across the blockchain in that it had the release of the token and then the breeding at the same time. And then the game release was like the next day. Um, it was just so smooth and people had a, an interest in breeding out of better ones because it helped them compete directly in the game. If it's too far before the game's release, I do think it can negatively affect um, the, the 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 whole economy. So hopefully we're not waiting too long in the game now, and that the breeding is a sign that they are it's coming soon. This is a game that has made some big partnerships. We've got this partnership between them and AC Milan, absolutely massive. Um, there are actual NFTs available that have the AC Milan kit. So that's pretty cool. Now the project is moving very, very close to being ready. You know, this is very, very basic, but what we see now is they've perfected the, the, the little intricacies of movement, executing passes, attacks, and they've progressed to increasing the quality. So you can see the quality is slowly increasing until it's at a point where you know, I think this is what we'd expect. Their expectations are to be released and to work. And it runs... The skill is really in positioning, players, but also like players' abilities, natural, because that is going to affect, you know, whether the pass goes through successfully, whether you tackle successfully, whether you score, whether you save a goal. Now, as I will be playing it... Uh, now, I'll definitely be playing this game, but... I do fear that it's not going to have much skill to it. Um, that the skill is really going to be dependent on who owns the best items in it. There will be that skill in positioning and executing moves in the right positions. So I do think that bit is going to be enjoyable. But will it be comparative to, you know, FIFA? Playing a game that where you're actually moving about uh, and you know, all those split decision movements and that you make. I don't I don't think it's going to have that same appeal and same level of skill to earn in it. Um, but yeah, well, let's 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 see what the game releases and judge it when it when it is out. Uh, but hopefully we're not waiting too long for that being, you know, like I say before, 
I want a game to be released very close to the breeding for the, the better of the economy. Next up we have Undead Blocks, definitely making its way into Halloween because they have the Halloween Bash tournament in partnership with Immutable X, huge partner. Um, 15k available to be to be earned. No NFT or crypto wallet needed. $500 for the first, pra first place. 72 hours to clock your best score. So I haven't played this yet. I'm going to do this live and we're going to go for it. Ideally, I want to do it in the next 30 minutes. I just want to complete it. It's, it's going to be gun roulette. So yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Very easy to join, by the way. You just need a Wagyu account. Go on Wagyu.io and get signed up for that. And then you can play in the tournament. Right, it's gun roulette, so the, the gun will change every minute. Yep, yep, yep. Ready up. I I will play with mouse and keyboard. I find it quicker. Definitely in the movement, like when you're spinning around. Rather than control you like mm, powerful. No! No! Just got massively stuck. Ah, oh, I was doing so well. I thought it was gonna be a first time. Ah. Oh. Right, let's try this again. Everything went so well then. Like, everything just came at the right time. Managed to get the perk at the best time. Oh, my life. Yeah, the, the one time... The one time in the whole game that I went to reload, I died trying to get the reload. That is just absolutely says everything. It's Rex. Hits them in the head, they're dead. Oh no. Following up with the pistol. That's gonna hurt. Just trying to survive by just not even facing. Ideally, you want a run that doesn't give you a pistol, right? That's better. Oh, what? Pistol again. It's still so hard to survive. Oh, my life! Do you see how many put rounds I put into him then? Need to hit this guy. It's so bad. <laughs> the meat ones. Me heads just take it. Mad. I don't think I'm doing good for kills here. Ah, 
really is good and really light on that, you know, you do get a random weapon. Speed reload. Ah, oh, this is the worst, the worst combination of weapons I've ever had. This is not the run. You make me good, yeah. Just Oh no! Pistol! So bad. Oh, Jesus. This such bad combination of things. People have to do multiple runs of this to be able to get a good score. You could get 
Like, you could avoid the pistol completely if you're really lucky. Ah! No. Wow, that got no kills. I've got no, I've got no weapon. No, I'm alive. Go away! Come on, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun! Yeah! Last 30 seconds. We get stuck in the house. Ah. Done! I survived firearm roulette on the second try. Didn't reload that time. It's the reloads that kill you in this game. <laughs> Clearly. Yes. Okay. 3,481st. 362 kills. I have to say, like, I did not look out in any way with, um, with my thingy rewards. My, the, the guns that I was getting... Like, I almost got a pistol three times or something. That was harsh. Um, tournament ends in four hours. So, I haven't got long to get in on this. <laughs> I'll try and get this video out as soon as possible so you get that. But, yeah. That is Undead Vlogs always representing our projects very well. Like, I, wish, I feel like we should have some partnership between us and Undead Vlogs. Like, at least be an ambassador for them because we cover them every single week. Um, and I do love the game. It's fun to play. So, that's Undead Blocks. Next, we go on to... Next, we're playing Legends of Crypto. This is like a little sneak peek. It's footage of one of the colleagues playing uh, LOC game on their mobile. So, it's going to be available. Legends of Crypto, I haven't played it. It's a pretty cool game. I think it has... the, the It's very, very easy to pick up. There's also like a sneak peek there of the metaverse that they're building as well alongside of it. The project has a lot going for it. It has some good partnerships. Um, actually, NFT influencers becoming cards in the game uh, i've seen crypto stash he has his his card in the game so we're going to be playing the early access today and checking it out so we can select a card deck i mean we've got 21 so let's just take everything really right okay so we've got a deck okay right we have story mode so this is story mode get reward for every mission completion will unlock free entrance to the arena let's start with mission one london why is Crypto Stash in London? Why have you not hit me up, Crypto Stash? Uh, right, so we've got these cards that we can place down. We want some protection, so let's put you there. You want to try and get them in positions where they're going to struggle to take you out. So 20 health, we need a 20 on the bottom. Or a 30 on there, that'll do it. Boom. Yes, yeah, so we've got these. The, the bottom left hand corner, we've got there. Uh, health and then above that we've got around the edges is what their attack is in the different positions oh no it didn't i didn't i didn't put down it just put play big boy crypto oh you know what that's all right i'll, I'll skip that turn because i'm gonna go for the double kill pow pow don't you like that stash the ball the ball um i mean i can take the ball out no problem And then we'll have a 20 on the right. Yeah, yeah, you can take them out from there. So, 0, 20. Ooh, we're going to struggle to beat them. 20 on the bottom. There we go. Okay, so they have to be attacked from the right. You can block that right off. 
with something. That would be good. I'm just going to place the Toshi there. So we've got the advantage in turns. Oh, he's placing there, not attacking. 30, 20 down. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, he would have been good to keep in the top right, actually. Damn it. Um, I've got nothing I can attack him with. I'm going to put him there. Oh, I missed my turn. Legendary. Just play Legendary. Yeah, if I put him there, that's going to be hard for him to take me out. Okay, okay. Um, Hodler. Hodler's not that in the best position, but I'm going to have to play Hodler. Played Legendary. You can go for the double there. Why didn't I go for the double? That is not a stash move. I don't think he would have missed that. Okay, we just take him blow for blow now. Ooh, that's that's not good. I can't take him out straight away. I'm gonna have to go for that and do ten to him. You did great on your first mission. Oh, I won. I won five because I had five down. Thank you. Beat your stash. And then we have more missions to play through. Getting all the way to the arena. They have a PvP multiplayer a leaderboard. Out there, currently headed up by Legend390237. Getting 100 LC tokens. Yeah, like I say, very, very easy to pick up. Very easy to play. There's going to be a, a, a good element of skill in where you position the cards. A bit of like advanced gameplay. Thinking it. So, yeah, I really like that. like the cards. They all look really cool. Uh, so, that is Legends of Crypto. You can check that out. Links that will be down in the description below. And then finally, we have Rebel Bots, a game which I said last week I'm going to try and get access to it. They've given me beta access to it. However, I'm having difficulty uh, connecting it to my wallet because I can't get Mumbai Test Network to work on my phone. So I'm going to try and fix that. And maybe we'll get some gameplay next week. But on the face of it, just we're looking at the, the beta gameplay from uh, looking at other people's footage. It looks like it functions really well, really intuitive, nice user interface. I like the different variety of cards, the different abilities that they have. So you can play tactically, you know, shielding at the right time, using certain moves to, to heavy attack one enemy rather than all of them. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be looking forward to playing that. Hopefully we'll get it working for next week. Um, but one thing I do want to bring up and, and ask you guys and get some feedback. And what are your thoughts on games like this? Do you think they're going to survive? Do you think they are tactical enough, skillful enough for you to be able to spend a lot of time on it and enjoying? Because, you know, play and earn is not really the earning aspect. You're not playing these games to earn anymore. You're playing these games for fun with an added potential of earning. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of these type of games and their longevity, whether they are actually going to make it um, and be successful? It's game does have some huge backers it has links with ubisoft um big plans for the future in their metaverse but yeah we'll see on that one um let me know also if there's any games that you think you'd like to see covered any new things that you think have potential going forward always happy to hear from you guys uh we did have the bornless stream on friday which i was unable to play because i it wouldn't work so i had to uninstall and reinstall and the download took like way over an hour so wasn't able to take part in this, sadly, but the game looks like really a lot of fun. Go check it out on Crypto Stash's YouTube. He did a live stream. Um, they've, they've made some tweaks to it since we last played it. They had this uh, competition going on, community gaming. The there's some big prizes. First prize, find women, won win uh won three thousand um, dollars. Fifth place, getting two hundred and fifty dollars. That's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, that definitely looks really, really good. I'm excited for that. It was definitely Halloween vibes with its horror element to it. Uh, so check that out if you haven't. All the links to everything in today's video will be down in the description below. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. The video always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you can keep up to date with future content. Apart from that, that's all for today's video. See you guys soon.